The Glowforge works well with a variety of materials. It can cut and engrave the following. Wood that is unstained, untreated, and unpainted. 100% acrylic. Vegetable tanned leather. 100% natural cork. Mylar and Glowforge proof grade materials. There are some materials the Glowforge can only engrave. Those are glass, ceramic tile, anodized aluminum, marble, stone, and titanium. While the Glowforge can work with many materials, there are some that are not safe to use with this machine. Most of these are different kinds of plastic, which are not safe because they release harmful fumes when they are burned. Some items on the list are materials you can cut in a laser cutter like paper and cardboard. However, we do not allow them in the library's Glowforge because of the excessive fire risk and because we have other machines that can cut them. Glowforge also advertises cutting chocolate in their machines. With that being said, once the machine is used to cut anything other than food, such as acrylic, it is no longer safe to put food in the machine. What about everything else? If you look up laser cutting, you will find videos of people using their personal machines to laser cut many different types of materials. However, we only allow the materials on the approved list in the library's Glowforge because those are the ones that we know are safe to put in a laser cutter. All materials must be checked and approved by Idealab staff before they can be used in the Glowforge. If there is any doubt about what the material is, it will not be allowed in the Glowforge. Please bring in a receipt or tag with your material for staff approval. There are plenty of places to purchase materials from the approved list. The Idealab has clear acrylic, wood, and ceramic tile available for purchase. Visit the Approved Materials tab for links to a handful of other vendors.